five star. Oh my god. <laughs> this is Teddy Bear. Oh, this is, oh, this is the one. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so cute. Hi, Ted. Yes. Want to come visit? Somebody get out. Um, let's start with the sweet potato first. Hi, Dad. Are you? It's okay. You're <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh, you want Mama? Do you want to learn? Oh, you got to do it. You got it? It's okay. I got gotcha. you. Oh, you were cute. I got gotcha. you. What you got? <laughs> What's that? in such ecstasy over eating. She gave birth to him in a barn in West Texas and abandoned him. So the farmer found him in the barn with the umbilical cord and placenta still attached. Oh, and then by the time I was able to get to West Texas to get him, he was about two, three, maybe even three days old, and he was a mess by then. He had a massive peritoneal infection from that attached cord. The bacteria had gone into his gut gland. Um, and so he was what we call failure to thrive. He stayed 383 grams for like three months until we could get it under control. And we hand fed him, syringe fed him, sweet potato baby food. <laughs> oh, you know. And critical care every day. And um, during that time, of course, I became mama. So he knows me very well, and I can touch him, pet him. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You're not doing Ooh. What? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get that one. I didn't get that one. That's okay, Terry did. He's got it. So what do we want out next? I saw your Christmas vi video where he uh, got so excited when he in the house when he's, he came for the corn. The frolic, yeah. He's not allowed in the house, so that was the first time he'd ever been in the house in ten years, and he was so excited. He was spinning around because he was just so happy. He was hopping around like a bunny. Cause <coughs> that's a that was a really big treat for him. He was yes. Okay, spell Fennec for me. F e n n e c. Okay, that's one. And you can, I don't know if you can smell him, he has a very distinctive porcupine no. odor that smells a little bit like bad underarm odor. So if you smell that, please know that that's him, not me. <laughs> you have to always caveat that. Um, Where'd he go? He dropped it. Oh, we need another piece, please. You're letting him oh, down. Oh, here. Oh, he's looking for it. Here, Teddy. You guys are in charge of feeding. Teddy. Oh, that happens. You want that? Yeah, if we start on the apples, he won't go back to the sweet potato. Oh, really? So that's, that's like when he gets bored with the sweet potato. Oh, I see. Oh, Sit on look at your that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? Exactly. Hold it. Oh, look at that. Is he soft in the belly? Yes. Uh -huh. There's no quill, no spines or quills on the belly or on his face. And that's because he sleeps curled up into a ball. That way he doesn't quill himself. Oh, is that it? Oh, you are adorable. Yeah, I want a pet. You can pet. Where can I pet? Just pet down. This guard hair is very, very wiry. It feels like a, a guard hair on a dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, I want that dog. I saw you eating a pumpkin. I just had to. We had, we had a. Out, well, where are we hunting? Sorry. One just don't hunt porcupines. No, no, she had. She, one of the girls that we hunt with, she, on her finger, had a porcupine that had learned how to crawl up her finger and spin the corn. Mm -hmm. They love corn, oh, as you can tell. He loved it. He loved it. She, it was great. And, and then I saw Teddy Bear on um, the website or whatever. And uh, I'm trying to get her to get some pumpkins to take out to him. We'll get just a little. Just a little. He's still got some. He takes small bites. And as soon as you sent me that video, you went online and found her? And that he's here in Dallas. Because it was, I got that off a. Uh, what the edge yeah. radio station. You sent yeah. it to Finch, Finch sent it to me, and I thought, okay. Wow, that's been a long time ago. Well, and I've been working on this. <laughs> his very first video, he's ready. Okay. His very first video came out two years ago. You know, and, um, okay. 
I, I didn't think anything about it. I, I offered him an ear of corn and he grabbed it and so I just recorded it and I stuck it on Facebook okay. or on uh, YouTube in June. And you know, it didn't have any views, maybe 60, 70 views. Really? And then one day Thanksgiving, my phone blew up. My phone was going ding, 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 ding. And somebody had found it and put it on a viral video site. And within two days, he had a million views. And that was two years ago. Mm. And then I had fans starting demanding that um, if I didn't start a Facebook page, they were going to. So I'm like, okay, great. Now I have a Facebook page. Then we had, and he had a Twitter page. Oh, now, um, as of yesterday, he has 14,000 Facebook fans. Oh, he has 10,000 oh, subscribers on okay, YouTube. And he has 10 million views. You're cute. He's got 17 videos out now. I, 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 I look, I, I do a search for all his videos. You have, he, have you looked for his other no. videos? No. She dresses him up. New Year's Eve, he had a New Year's Eve hat. That's my favorite. Mark, or, uh, St. Patrick's Day, he had a, a green bow. Valentine's Day, he had roses. He's and, very tolerant. And, and he, they put the food in a heart-shaped box and he started eating the roses. <coughs> oh, it was so cute. Oh, you are. Cool. And I don't know if you've noticed, but um, the last two Super Bowls, he's got two Super Bowl videos out. He has no. predicted the winner of the Super Bowl accurately the last two years. No, I haven't And seen Super Bowl is February 2nd. So, so who is he going for? But we don't know yet. We don't know yet. So but the minute is we have shedding, um, is that what they, they, they were do? stuck in my quilt. No, oh, they okay. were stuck in my quilt, and I pulled them out because they were hurting my leg. Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> I always have to do a bra check to make sure. Oh, he <laughs> can get me by accident. Yeah. Um, he does have thirty-five thousand of those quilts. Let me show them to you. Thirty-five thousand. Oh my gosh! Oh, they're underneath all the scarring. I know. Now, why is there I don't like that one. He doesn't like me showing his backside. It's like him <laughs> at my bottom. Why is did you lose it? Did you um, lose it here, buddy? It is a myth. They cannot stroll or... They're not missiles. He doesn't yes. have a launch button. Okay. Um, if you see these, you can see that the... Really? Um, the white is in his body and the black really? tip is sticking out. If you looked at this black tip under a microscope, it yeah. has little fish hook shaped barbs. Yes. So, it sticks right in your skin, or an animal's skin. So I'm sure you've seen pictures of yes. dogs. Yes, yes. Those, those little things hurt to pull them out. But if you don't pull them out, um, they will continue with the muscle constrictions of the dog to go deeper, deeper, deeper. And what's interesting is that because occasionally the porcupine will quill themselves, Ooh. nature's amazing. They have a very oily skin, and the oil is antibiotic. So they'll oh, never, you'll never get an infection from a porcupine quill, but you will die of perforation of the organs as it works its way mm. through your body. So they do have to be pulled out. A lot of wild animals do die from porcupine quills. They perforate major organs or arteries. You are cute. Can you sit up? What are you doing laying down? Is it lazy? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's get you a clean one. Let's get you a clean one. We got plenty. I'll get that one How much does he eat? Eat a day. Or can he um, eat? We give him a really big bowl. We usually do one slice sweet potato, so that'll be his sweet potato for the day. Uh, he gets a big bowl of spring mix. Um, it's mainly human produce at this point because oh. he was raised on human produce. He's not fond of browse. I mean, he'll eat black willow leaves and bark, but it's not his first choice. But he'll go for a fig newton faster than you can imagine. Really? <laughs> And NutriGrain bars. He gets half a NutriGrain bar. I don't know that. I watch so. pigs. I don't know. I watch pig news. Um, but it, we limit the amount of fruit he has because he yeah. eats a lot of sugar. And of course, in the wild, they'd be eating nothing but. Um, well, they're in all 48 contiguous states, plus Mexico and Canada, but the diet is different depending on where they were raised. So those that are up in New England and are in the coniferous forests, they eat mainly evergreens. The ones down here, he came from West Texas, would be eating pinion and mesquite. Poor bats, West Texas. He came out of Sanderson, Texas. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Do they yeah, only have that. one baby at a time? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so. <coughs> yeah, and I think what happened is Mama went into what she thought was a safe place to give birth and then got spooked by something mm -hmm. or another animal or something and then just abandoned him. So luckily the, the rancher who, who works that area, he's, he's actually a trapper friend of mine, um, called me and said, you want this baby pork? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> He's a very nice guy. That's so a miracle. We made arrangements to take him. And I'd never, I'd never cared for a porcupine before, and so I immediately went on all the zoo and veterinary websites trying to find out what do you feed a baby porcupine, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I finally found a rehabber in Maine. She passed away recently. She was a wonderful lady, um, older woman from Germany, and she lived on Deer Island, Maine, with a generator and 50 porcupines. Oh. oh, and she knew how to save the baby, so she gave me the baby formula and the care and the right antibiotic mix to stop the infection. Wow. And if it weren't for Ilona, he wouldn't be here today. He's now 10 years old. He'll be 11 in um, May, 
Um, and they can live to be 30 in captivity. Wow. And as you can see, he's totally tame. He doesn't know he's a porcupine. He's fully imprinted. 